What does it feel like to be here with all the fans? Because, like I asked, told everybody, you have generations of fans. Overwhelming. Yeah. I didn't know that anyone watched this show. That's amazing. No, I'm kidding. It's, it's great. Uh, I, I did not know what to expect. This is the first time that I've ever been to one of these before. And I think that someone mentioned earlier that there was around 500 people that might have showed up. That was last year. I heard last there was year? like 1,500 people outside. Yeah. The crowds are wild. Everyone is so sweet. Everyone is, I mean, we're, it's hot out there. Yeah. And everyone is waiting a long time to meet with us and coming up with the biggest smiles in the best moods, and it's in, it's it's intoxicating. It's great. But to your point about how generational it is, that's that's how this show is, right? Mm -hmm. People's grandparents or great grandparents watched, and then their parents did, and they watched with their moms, and uh, you know, it's really remarkable how it has such a legacy that way. And so, yeah, it's thrilling to be here and to thank the fans because we wouldn't be here, we wouldn't get to do what we love to do if it wasn't for them, so. And you're yeah. seeing that out there. You're seeing grandmas and moms, you're seeing generations out there. It's beautiful. Yeah, exactly. Like, I got into the show in the 1980s when I was in elementary school. Oh, wow. And me and my sister have been following it, and my mom used to follow my grandma would follow it. And you see that. And you yeah. see how much one show is connected with so many different people. Yeah. Uh, two years from now, well, less than two years, is the 60th anniversary of the show, which That's is right. just crazy to me to see any show be able to get 60 years. What does it feel like to be a part of the show and to be able to work with some of the amazing cast who have been here for almost 30 years for some of them? I mean, you know, Peter and I have been working actors for quite a while, and I think That's that... Good. Quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of years. But, you know, I think that um, the longer you do this, the easier it is, easier it is to become... Uh, sort of dulled to like just how remarkable it is right and I always try and remind myself if ever I find that I'm taking something for granted that um, getting to walk onto these stages and getting to have a job but also on a show that has such a legacy that has you know stood the test of time right like like you're saying we're coming up on 60 years and we have very successfully made the move from NBC to Peacock, which is the future of television and entertainment. And um, yeah, I, I think I feel really grateful to be a small part of, of history of this. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's. You know, there are so many different genres of acting that you can work in within this town and that we get to work in one that has been around for as long as it has and is so different from any yeah. other performing that you can do. And I feel like I've done a little bit, and absolutely, you've done a little bit of everything. And it's like putting on a play. Yeah. But we do five plays a week. It's really exciting. Yeah. So how do you feel this has helped you in like other acting forms? Because we've seen a lot of actors who started out in soap operas and now I've gone on to do other things. How do you think soap operas prepares you for what's to come when it comes to film and television and everything else? Well, I think it's... My, 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 first, um, my first steady job was on uh, Dawson's Creek and I worked, um, I worked pretty regularly with uh, Jensen Ackles uh, who had just come off of a three-year job here on Days of Our Lives. And I remember it was my first episode working with him and we were shooting a scene and halfway through the scene he kind of just like moved over six inches and uh, during my coverage and I was like, when we were done, I said, what was that about? He said, I was standing in your light. And it was just the technical stuff that I didn't have any understanding of, but having worked in soaps, it's like you get the technical stuff down, you learn how to show up on time, to be prepared and I don't necessarily like to think of soaps as like a starting point because this is a this isn't training. This is a career. This is a job, um, but it is something that teaches you to be to jump on board a moving train and be ready to go like from the moment you start. Right? Yeah, I, I, I always feel very fortunate to get to work with other soap actors in other genres because imagine like. Okay, so in many other genres, you get many takes. And often you're working with people that are used to that. So they're, they're comfortable knowing that 
I got five takes to get to that usable spot. While we have one take to get to that usable spot, so those other four are cool options that we can hopefully use. Is everyone okay over there? <laughs> No, anyway, so do you understand my point that like there's a lot more material that you get to work with in the edit when uh, when you're working with other soap actors? Well, thank you, fellas, for stopping with us. I've been a big fan of the show since it's Stefano and uh, <laughs> back in those days. <laughs> yeah. But keep up the good work. I'm still loving it. My sister's still loving it. I'm sure there's millions of fans who follow every week or even now on their phone. And watching crazy. It, so yeah. it's crazy. But thank you so much. Thank for you. Thank you.